going and going and going. And I want my story to be heard so people could take this situation seriously. Why didn't anyone know this? We all know this. No one cared because we were black girls. But you had to pretty much agree to it, no matter how demeaning it felt. Harrowing stories alleged by dozens of women accusing the R&B legend of various forms of abuse told in the Lifetime docuseries Surviving R. Kelly. It's been over almost two years now, and we still haven't seen our daughter. The six-hour explosive series has been watched by more than 18 million people. New R. Kelly! Law enforcement is now involved in two states. Just today, protests raged outside Kelly's Chicago studio, where Chicago police have now visited. Black girls matter! Kelly still denies all accusations. The man behind anthems like Ignition and I Believe I Can Fly, I believe I can fly. has been plagued by allegations of abuse and sex with underage girls stretching back well into the 90s. They swept it under the rug, but now they're like, going back and saying, you know, maybe that was true. Tamara Simmons and Jesse Daniels are two of the executive producers behind the docuseries. When you see these patterns emerge that date back to the 90s over the course of years saying the same thing, what they went through was real. They say in light of the Me Too movement, it was time to reinvestigate some of those claims. Summer of 2017, there were a few articles that had surfaced that uh, detailed new alleged victims. Parallel to that, the Me Too movement started to take off. Once we started to get in touch with uh, some of these women and dig a little bit deeper into their stories, and then it ballooned to many other people. You have this you know, powerful person that's beloved in the African-American community, and then you have a victim that nobody cares about. It shows you how rich and powerful men can get away with a lot of things. Amidst the outrage in response to the allegations in the series, stars like Jada Pinkett Smith are now asking how Kelly continues to sell albums despite the controversy. I really don't want to believe that it's because black girls don't matter enough. Or is that the reason? More than 50 people were interviewed for the docuseries. I'm sorry. It's okay. Including more than a dozen alleged victims who claim they were physically and sexually abused, stretching over months and years. Many who say they were just teenagers when they first met the star. And he was being really, really nice, and he asked me how old I was, and I told him I was 17. Young girls are impressionable, like he's R. Kelly. Kelly's attorney says that these allegations are nothing, adding, if Mr. Kelly had done anything wrong, you would expect to hear facts, not the pitchfork posse. As for the investigations, they will find nothing because he has done nothing wrong. I'm here today to encourage victims of sexual assault or domestic violence um, related to these allegations to please get in touch with our office. After the docuseries aired, Cook County, Illinois State Attorney Kim Fox issued a call for anyone with any information to come forward. We don't have the ability to deal in rumor and innuendo. We have to deal with facts and evidence. And the most critical information in these cases come from those um, who believe that they have been victims of a crime. With the Me Too movement and with social media in particular, we are going to be seeing more of what we just saw, which is investigators appealing to the public and saying, you too can come forward. That too is a significant change from what we've seen before. On Tuesday, Faith Rogers, who also appeared in the series, appealed to a judge in New York to expedite her case. Rogers is suing Kelly for sexual battery and willfully, deliberately, and maliciously infecting her with herpes and claims that Kelly mentally, sexually, and verbally abused her when they were together in 2017. She was just 19 at the time. Kelly never filed a response with the court. It was consensual, but it was consented by intimidation. I look back and there's an iPad and I just turned my head away. You know, I didn't want my face to be on it. Accusations of sexual misconduct have dogged Kelly for 20 years. In 2008, he was acquitted of charges of child pornography surrounding that infamous video that prosecutors claim show Kelly allegedly urinating into the mouth of a minor. Both Kelly and the young woman deny that they were the ones in the tape. It's sort of the drug of celebrity, you know, um, and I, I think one of the things that made these cases difficult to prosecute is because R. Kelly was this beloved icon 
in the black community. In an interview with music journalist Torre, taped after his acquittal, R. Kelly struggles to answer what many viewed as a basic question. Do you like teenage girls? When you say teenage, how are we talking? Girls who are teenagers. 19? 19 and younger. I have some 19-year-old friends. Long before that tape emerged, R. Kelly had made his desire for younger women well known. His marriage to R&B darling Aaliyah was annulled after it was discovered the singer was only 15 at the time of their marriage. But for Angelo Clary, none of the stories of Kelly's behavior hit home until he says it happened to his daughter, Azriel. I just felt like it was not going to happen to me. He says Kelly mentored his daughter, but eventually trapped her and will not allow her to return home. His daughter says she's with Kelly voluntarily. Our uh, last time I saw my daughter was 2016, after her graduation. A story that sounds eerily similar to what Timothy Savage says happened to his daughter, Jocelyn. And then we got a call from her, and she told us that she was with R. Kelly. We was like, what are you doing? You're in, you're in college. My daughter is being held against her will. He appealed to the public Mr. last year Robert in a bid for help, alleging that his daughter is being held against her will and has been sexually abused by Kelly. Just this month, he filed a police report detailing a call with one of Kelly's managers. As a police officer listened on, the manager threatened to ruin the Savage family if they participated in the Lifetime series. In another report filed last spring, Savage says that a separate man threatened his life and told him that his daughter was being held by Kelly. His daughter Jocelyn, filmed by TMZ, denied that she was involved in any sort of sex cult. Oh, no. None of that is true. None of that is true. All that is false accusations. The Fulton County, Georgia District Attorney has confirmed to ABC News that since the docuseries aired, they've been in touch with the Savage family and have tried to contact Jocelyn to no avail. There are statutes of limitations when uh, it comes to sex crimes, when it comes to child sex crimes. Is that going to be a problem? the statute of limitations for, for sex crimes, yes, but perhaps not for all, because if you look at the New York case, she says this happened, I think, in May 2017. That wasn't too long ago. Do I believe that he should serve time in jail? I do. You would like to see him arrested? Yes. For Kelly's ex-wife, Andrea Kelly, she believes justice is long overdue. She told me late last year that she was a victim herself for 13 long years of emotional, physical, and sexual abuse, all at the hands of Robert Kelly. She and the singer have three children together. Did you ever fear for your life? Yes. You thought he might kill you? Yeah. Your kids? No. But me, definitely. Because at the end of the day, we don't have to keep talking about the storm. It's about how you come out of it. Drea says that now she feels that she and her story are being used for something greater. But what have you learned about yourself through all of this? I know now that I'm being used for something greater than me. Nobody just cares about the, the black women that speak out, especially the black community. It's the black community that bashes the black women that speak out about abuse. We've been watching them since they came forward in 2017, tried various attempts to get media attention, but it doesn't take hold. And again, I think that goes back into this idea that black girls don't matter. For many of these women, even as Kelly's fate remains unclear, their solace comes in speaking out and knowing that now people are listening. You know, you're not alone. They're not alone. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.